Hi guys. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Hi hi. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Hmm. That's good. So let me ask you something. Let's say there is a person that continues to sin. Okay. And let's say that person is feeling discouraged by it. Like, what can that person do or think or whatever else? Well, the best way, honestly, is just prayer. Prayer. And reading your word, reading the Bible. And having some good Christian friends. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. So where exactly should that person read first? Is there a certain place or? Well, I have two scriptures in mind. Okay. One scripture is Psalms 37 and 5 and I'm reading from the New Living Translation, which is the NLT. Okay. And it says, commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. Amen. And the other one is? The other one is um, Psalms 46. Verse one, and that one says, Let me um, pull it up here. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Okay, it says, um, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Hmm. So I believe those scriptures are saying that we can't change on our own. I believe we should resist sin, but at the same time, I believe it is going to take the mercy and grace of God to help us to stop sinning, right? Or no? Correct. Correct? Yes. So let me ask you this, and <laughs> hopefully I can phrase this <laughs> in the right way. Okay. So... Yes, I believe God wants us to be perfect. Okay. Which is mature. So, let's say a person is trying to be perfect. And let's say that person continues to mess up. So what can that do? <laughs> I believe I am confusing myself. I think you know what I am trying to say, right? Or maybe <laughs> I am phrasing this in the wrong way. Like Okay, maybe, okay, if a person is trying to uh, put themselves in a position to try to be perfect. Well, I guess what I am trying to say, don't beat yourself up. Yeah. I believe all humans are not going to do everything right all the time. So if you do mess up, don't beat yourself up about it. I believe if you contemplate on what you did in the past, I believe that may get in your way when you are trying to live for God. So, yes, 
don't try to sin, but if you do, confess it to God and move on. Because I believe if you continue, if you continue to think about it, I believe that is going to do more harm than good. Or do you agree with that? Yes, I agree. So basically, I guess you are saying put trust in God. Ask God for help. Because I don't believe we can do anything without God's help. Right? Right. <laughs> so do you have anything else to say or what? <laughs> Yeah, actually, I do. Yeah, and you go know, ahead. this, this, um, this, uh, resides from Proverbs 3 and 5 through 6. And I'm going to read it for you. Okay. It says, um, <laughs> it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. And that is the New Living Translation, the NLT? Yes. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, everyone. God bless you. Bye. God bless. Bye. <laughs>